no one gets 20, 400 grand in their lifetime one shot and give it away. Being a Yankee fan can cost you. Christian Lopez became part of history last Saturday when he caught Derek Jeter's 3,000th hit. His stroke of luck could have been cashed in for at least $250,000. But instead, Lopez returned the ball to Yankee security, telling them to make sure Jeter gets it and requesting an autographed ball. I did it because it's the right thing to do. Um, Jeter deserved that ball. Um, he was going to pay for you anyway. You didn't know that. You had him under your arm. To show gratitude to the earnest fan, the Bronx Bombers gave the 23-year-old bats and hats, autographed by Jeter, a ring, and luxury suite tickets for the entire year. The gift stirred the interest of the IRS, who were ready to tax the lucky catcher anywhere between 14000 to 32000 bucks. Wow! What an unexpected fee for a youngster who says he owes over $100,000 in school loans. Where to get the money? We thought it was our responsibility to step up with the Yankees, with Steiner Sports, and uh, do the right thing for him. It was all about the Yankees, it was about the captain, it was about the history in the franchise. It wasn't about his personal agenda. Model Sporting Store, who has a very strong relationship with the ball club, announced 5% of all Yankees merchandise purchased in stores for one week will be donated to help cover the cost of the taxes. You did the right thing, you did the right thing, but I hope they take care of you. There was much debate over how Lopez should have handled his catch. Barry Bond's 715th home run ball sold for $220,000. Mark McGuire's 70th home run in 1998 went for $3 million. This is the story that's got to be told. Anybody else would have capitalized on it. Here's a true blue Yankee fan. He should uh, take a day and think about it before he make decisions. But it seems to be the right thing that he did. And Dita, Gita does deserve the ball, but everyone needs a break in life also. I mean, the experience I had was great. Um, so many fans would love to see what I saw. Um, I even got to see where uh, they buried uh, David Ortiz's jersey um, in Yankee Stadium, which is pretty cool. Um, so I got to see some cool things that uh, fans would just dream of. Um, so, I mean, no, nah, it's everything that's been going on. Is, uh, it's been overwhelming, but it's been totally worth it. This is Daryl Harrison for NYPost.com.